Hi everyone, welcome to RPB Resonance Chemistry. Today I am giving the very very uh, useful important notification regarding to the Andhra Pradesh uh, Chemical Science students, Andhra Pradesh uh, MSc Chemistry students. Okay, so now I'll go through the uh, website of official website of uh, those important notification. So this is the official website. So this is nothing but slprb.ap.government.in ap state portal okay so this is nothing but a state level police recruitment board when you click on these official website uh, the interface of official website appears like this on the this state level police recruitment board so here the latest jobs not uh, latest jobs here latest news news okay so here user guide before submitting online application for the post of uh, our scientific assistance in physical chemical and biology or serology in on the place forensic science laboratories okay so these posts are uh, regarding to the forensic science laboratories okay now they are given the user guide as well as a press note as well as a, a link for uh, submitting the online application okay so these three are the uh, latest news here it is the latest jobs okay when you click on uh, these three so the first one user guide so this very helpful to fill the online application to fill the online application uh, while you face uh, while filling the online application you face any problem uh, this is very helpful uh, those type okay now the second one press note so they are released the press note uh, regarding to the uh, job notification now the third one so they are given the uh, officially link uh, regarding to the uh, online application online application from the from for the post of scientific assistance in physical chemical and biology okay now let's move on to the those post details like those notification details uh, very clearly okay so this is the state level police recruitment board on the Pradesh uh, Mangaligiri Kuntu district okay so this is uh, uh, this is related to the Andhra Pradesh students that's why I'll go to uh, I'll go to explain in Telugu also okay so now I'm going to discuss about uh, uh, those uh, complete details of vacancies uh, uh, reservations el eligibility condition eligibility criteria and educational qualifications medical standards fee mode of payment uh, and the last date to apply the online application as well as the centers for examination like a selection process uh, and uh, uh, residential for the local and non-local students each and every point I'll explain over here okay first of all so the chemistry students uh, the vacancies of chemistry students uh, in direct recruitment scientific assistant in chemical that is 17 post and uh, uh, limited recruitment at uh, post code number 12 here also post code number 12 regarding to the chemical here also post code 12 scientific assistant in chemical only one vacancies okay so 17 plus 1 18 vacancies are there 18 vacancies are there so now based on that they have mentioned the like some reservation reservation point of view points so the candidate will be recruited uh, will be required to submit uh, upload a copy of a photo signature community if they are belong to BC as EST candidates okay so now and other certificates while submitting online application form okay so the candidate required uh, some copy of a photo signature community certificate okay that is the point now so uh, again the uh, vacancies uh, vacancies details now our related to the postcode 12 postcode 12 so OC6 now OC general 6 OC women 3 so ex serviceman 1 BCA there is no general but one uh, woman category is possible BCB there is no general one woman category BCC only one general category there is no for women BCT uh, no, no post is available okay now BCE also there is no post so SC two general one woman now ST there is no general but one woman post is there totally 17 post again limited recruitment uh, uh, limited recruitment vacancy only for SC general category SC general category so these are the vacancy details okay now let's move on to the like uh, eligibility these are the creamy layer certificate uh, the rule of uh, special uh, representation okay so the way while going through the application you can read all the things carefully so then you will get the information more and more okay now let's move on to the uh, reservations SAST reservations finally the eligibility conditions okay so here they are uh, set the some uh, age limit so that is a uh, 42 years as on 1st July 2020 okay you cannot uh, exceed so, so those 42 years uh, age limit but some of the exceptions are there so those uh, relaxable exceptions are given in following okay so a maximum five years uh, relaxation 
is applicable to those who students belongs to scheduled caste or scheduled tribe okay so they, those those candidates having the five years uh, realization that means 42 plus uh, five 47 years experience okay, 47 years age limit now again length of regular service limited uh, so this is also five years three years in addition to length of service rendered in the army naval or air force okay so those candidates having the three years experience now three years additional to the length of service uh, rendered uh, whole time cadet crops instruction that is a uh, national and uh, ncc ncc certificate holders now up to a maximum three years if you can get a candidate like a retrenched temporary employee in the state census department with minimum service of six months during uh, like 1991 so those those 1991 uh, candidates they are having the three years exp uh, three years in relaxation so these are the upper age relaxations okay now uh, this is re regarding to the like uh, eligibility criteria now let's move on to the minimum educational qualification okay now we are related to the postcode 12 that is scientific assistant chemi chemical so the postcode 12 uh, educational qualification so uh, listen carefully must have posted msc with the first or second division okay so msc first or second division with chemistry or biochemistry that means uh, msc chemistry students or msc biochemistry students or msc forensic science with chemistry or toxicology or special subject from any university in india established or incorporated by an uh, under a central government central act or provincial act or state act or an institution recognized by the university grants commission an equivalent qualification simply so the scientific assistant chemical chemical post educational qualification is msc chemistry or msc biochemistry or msc forensic chemistry or msc toxicology okay so here many of the students they are uh, they are having the msc chemistry with organic or inorganic physical or environmental like our uh, like radiology so those kind of uh, chemistry having having their uh, pg certificate all the candidates all the type of candidates are eligible to apply the scientific assistant uh, chemical post why because they did not mention any particulars like either analytical students only or organic students only they did not mention that's why all the type of all the type of uh, like uh, streams students that is msc organic chemistry msc in organic chemistry msc analytical chemistry those kind of students are eligible to apply the scientific assistant post so this is the like ed educational qualifications and they are mentioned the some medical standards for the eyesight okay six by six for right eye left eye is uh, six by six okay near vision zero five zero four five like zero five five for left eye okay so this is the medical uh, standards now again let's move on to the uh, fee structure okay so fee structure for uh, SCST students having the 300 rupees and all other candidates that means bc or like uh, oc categories so the application fees is 600 can you note that so SCST students are 300 rupees per online post uh, like uh, uh, from other students they have they're having the like 600 rupees 600 rupees now mode of payment they are mentioned the two modes uh, like a visit a slprb website or uh, after making payment the candidate have visit the website of uh, slprb.ap.government.in oh, which is mentioned in the starting of the video okay so these two are the online mode of applications now, the last date of receipt of applications applications submitted after like a uh, 17.00 hours on 22 11 2020 the last date of application is the 22 now uh, 22 november uh, evening 5 pm evening 5 pm uh, if uh, it exceeds the evening 5 pm will not accept it okay incomplete applications and applications without a prescribed enclosures will not be entertained okay that means so, so incomplete applications uh, will be rejected automatically okay so candidates should ensure their eligibility for the examination okay you can careful uh, while they uh, while building the application okay so now the centers of examination this is most important for the those on the previous students the applic applicant may choose the examination center with the five preferences okay so that is uh, visakhapatnam guntur kakinada tirupati karnot so these five centers are there however the slprb reserves the right to allot the applicant to any center of examination depending upon the availability of the sources like centers okay so based on the sources they are allo allotted uh, different different centers 
okay so this is the centers for uh, written examination so the registered candidates may download their hall ticket from the website six days before the date of written test okay so you can download the, your application your uh, uh, admit card before the six days of examination okay now they are giving the written examination uh, procedure so the number of questions in written examination for scientific assistant to post of chemical okay 120 questions so marks one 120 marks okay 120 questions 120 marks the timing is 11 a.m to 1 p.m 11 a.m to 1 p.m three hours time three hours time okay so now uh, you can read all the following uh, instructions uh, uh, while attending the examination while attending the examination they did not entertain the, the allowing of mobile calculator boards ring jewelries electronic gadgets water bottles book newspapers and notebooks etc okay so they are uh, mentioned some of the like particular things regarding to the covid 19 you can you can read carefully those things in your admit card okay before the uh, exam Examination. entering the examination hall you can read out uh, all the instructions uh, carefully in your admit card that is very helpful for you okay now the minimum marks uh, to be secured by the candidates in order to qualify in the written examination 40 percent for oc and 35 percent for bc and 30 percent for sc sts and ex service mats okay so this is the related to examination this is related to examination and they are given the selection process okay so they are uh, selected uh, this kind of process okay now the final the reservation and local candidates okay so they are mentioned the local candidates uh, uh, regarding to the Andhra Pradesh state okay now let's move on to the those local candidates reservation to local candidates is applicable as provided in the rules and as amend from time to time in force in the date of uh, notification the candidates claiming a reservation as a local candidate should enclose the required certificates okay you should enclose some required certificates uh, from 7th to 10th class or from 6th to sorry 4th to 10th class okay so 7th to 10th class or from 4th to 10th class in case he is he or she has not studied from 7th class to 10th class in one particular district okay so if you are not uh, are studied in one particular district so from 7th to 10 so you can enclose your study certificates from 4th to 10th class 4th to 10th class residential certificates in the performa only should be enclosed for those candidates who have not studied in educational institutions okay so that is the things now the government of india has issued uh, following gazette notification on 9 6 uh, 20, uh, 2016 by the number based on the like uh, a claiming of the reservations okay so these are the reservations uh, under definition of local candidates you can read out all the things uh, this is that is very helpful for now other conditions okay so these are the like uh, local candidates local candidates totally this is the notification information uh, like a uh, scale of pay so the amount of pay is uh, the scale pay is 28,940 this is the starting salary to 78,910 so this is the like a uh, higher increment higher increment so the employees who are appointed on after 1-9-2004 are covered by the contributory pension scheme the existing pension scheme for ap revised pension rules 1980 will not be applicable to them okay so this is not applicable for them okay so they are given the checklist etc so this is the overall information so this is authorized by the chairman state level police recruitment board andhra pradesh mangalagiri okay so now they are mentioned the like annex one in the form of syllabus copies okay so the, if you want if you related to mechanics you can go through the these uh, syllabus if you related to uh, wave optics or electromagnetics okay so th now we are related to chemistry organic chemistry the, this is this uh, like a uh, syllabus of organic chemistry now again in organic chemistry again physical chemistry are most all similar to this csr net syllabus okay so this is the like syllabus copy of electric uh, like chemical chemical students chemical students are uh, from uh, for post code number 12 first code number 12 if it is possible i'll make the another video on, on uh, particular uh, uh, syllabus and previous year question papers and how they are asked the questions in uh, apslr pb uh, prb notification okay so until this is the complete information regarding to the andhra pradesh uh, police recruitment board uh, forensic science laboratory chemistry post okay i hope this is very helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching